Well, I'm excited to wrap up our first 3D printing and medicine course here at the Inn at St. John's in Plymouth, Michigan. We had a lot of leading pioneers and experts in 3D printing and medicine and hospital institutions. It was exciting to see how they're using those applications in everything from pediatric cardiology to orthopedics to urology and even neurology. 3D printing improves patient outcomes, it improves operational efficiencies inside of the institutions, and it allows clinicians to treat patients that were otherwise untreatable. And our pioneers and collaborators are gathering the evidence and submitting them to Radiological Society of North America and other surgical society initiatives in order to drive the data necessary to prove that reimbursement is needed in 3D printing. I thought this course was fantastic. I mean, there was clearly uh, a great group of people organized together to talk about something we're all passionate about, and I think having materialized at the helm of it was was really beneficial because it's been such a, a key player in the development of 3D printing and pushing the market and pushing the clinical applications forward. It's been a really important group to get together. Well, I, I hope that at U of M we're going to continue to push the, push the boundaries with clinical care and providing exceptional personalized medicine to our patients and I think 3D printing is going to be a big part of that as we continue to create new devices and develop new products for patients that are really changing lives. We started our printing program about 20 months ago and I learned a lot of new things that I wish we would have started back then at the beginning. And I can now give that advice to people who ask me what are some of the tips for success to implementing a 3D printing lab. I think at our institution we'd like to try to expand our footprint and reach more service lines and more positions throughout our health system. And I think we're going to see a lot more applications and uses of the technology in surgical uh, preparation. I think for us, orthopedics is an opportunity because we haven't really been able to access that part of our health system. So we need to work on uh, working with our orthopedic surgeons in order to get that business and uh, show them the real value in what 3D printing can provide.